Dimitri Gorn, who I think is sitting right next to Beth there mm -hmm. in Los Angeles, does she really have a choice whether or not it's a question of the law itself? Can she really <clears throat> just go into a courtroom and testify against a, a former client and then expect to get new clients? I mean, isn't there really a, 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 a principle here, which is, you know, most defendants don't want to see their their attorney or former attorney in court against them. I think that's what's driving, in large part, her decision not to testify. I think that her <clears throat> sense of ethics and due process and, you know, the greater constitutional protections a defendant has to have a lawyer and an effective lawyer to represent him, all those type of issues are coming into play here, and she feels that that sense of the Sixth Amendment right to have an effective attorney would be violated if she, as his former lawyer, testifies against them in the prosecution's case in chief and basically puts in prosecution evidence that one of the defendant's defense experts, who's a, a renowned uh, blood spatter expert, basically destroyed evidence or picked the evidence up and then failed to turn it over. That's damaging to, to the defense. And I think that Ms. Kaplan wants to have no piece of that. And she feels, again, under her sense of ethics, as well as just the constitutional protections, that she does not want to testify and she will not abide by the judge's ruling that she is a witness and she must testify. And therefore, I expect that she will be held in contempt. <clears throat>